My name's Roland Rockhouse Welker, and I'm going to tell you about my signature line of knives by Case Knife Company. I spent the last 30 years of my professional career guiding big game hunters in Alaska. Deep bush conditions, trapping all winter long. Case also felt that there was a need for the ultimate survival knife on the market, and so have I for a long time. And between their engineering and knife making insight and my details on the actual functions, we came up with the RW100. Handle micarta. You can't bust that handle. Won't even shatter at 50 below. Very light, bash proof. You want it bash proof because you're always using the bottom of your knife for hammer. That's your hammer. I mean, this is your only tool in a, in a true survival situation. The overall length, you want some length on your survival knife. Blade a little bit longer than the handle, that, that gives you that snap effect for chopping. But the overall long length is also good for long-term survival because when you sharpen this knife all the time, you're going to lose metal little by little. So you got to have something to work with. Modified Tanto, that's me. I've been messing around with the Modified Tanto for a long time. You know, Tanto is a 45 degree at the end of the point and it gives you two points. Mine's got a little curvature at the second point. The main thing I like about the Tanto is sharpening only the tip. You can leave this all razor sharp and use your tip all the time and then instead of sharpening your whole knife you sharpen the tip. Balance. This knife has balance. It's handle heavy. That makes it a flipper. In the throwing world you got to have a heavier handle it flips really good. The next thing you want the heavy handle for is when you drop that knife, your handle always goes down first, therefore you don't break your point or dull your edge. So many things about the RW100 knife by case. Left a little bit of a finger guard here so when you're going forward with your knife and you hit resistance, your hand don't slide up on the edge. But not too much finger guard that when you're in uh, a job dealing with an animal that it catches on the way out. We could go on and on and on. Nail your RW100 survival knife by case before they're gone. The caper knife. This is the ultimate hunting knife. Paired up, they're unstoppable. I really like to carry them both. Sometimes you want a small knife in small situations, you know, when, when you're gutting your animals, you can cut yourself bad with your big knife up in the cavity. <clears throat> Short enough that you can lay it in the palm of your hand and, and get your tip over the very end. And then after you make your initial incision on your animal, you go in with your fingertip over the tip of your knife. That way you ain't puncturing the entrails for unzipping it, the initial cut. Needle point, needle point, that's good for tail work before the gutting. And it's also good up around the head when you're caping your animal. This is a trophy handling knife. All about trophy handling. Back to my 30 years of guiding experience. If you ain't trophy handling correctly, you ain't no guide. Very critical in hunting and survival. RW Survival Line Knives by Case. Nail it at your nearest Case dealer. Case Knives. Keep your hands sharp.